So efficiency. Um, ultimately, efficiency is a, a measurement of um, how much power is consumed in the uh, in the process of of getting power to the atomizer. Um, so watts in equals watts out, uh, system wide. Uh, it doesn't watts from the batteries are not going to equal watts to the atomizer because something is lost in the circuitry. We have losses in the wiring, and uh, I'm going to measure everything from uh, from the same relative point on either side, so that our system losses, our wiring losses rather, are uh, minimized. Well, they're not. They're going to be equal, so the differences are going to be whatever's lost in the in the uh, in the circuitry in the boards. So. Uh, what did I do? So I didn't use a power meter. I could have. I have one, um, but I figured I'd instead of having, I'd have to like desolder all that. So I used my uh, Fluke 325 uh, clamp meter, uh, AC and DC. So I just turn it to uh, amps. Well, A is for amps, and uh, we're in AC by default. So I have to hit the AC DC button, and. Uh, it doesn't start actually playing Thunderstruck or anything, it just changes it to DC. Um, so we have a little bit of an offset, so we have to zero it. Zero it. Clamp it. And uh, without uh, destroying anything too badly. And um, zero it again if needed. This whole thing is uh, all connected together, so it's not that big of a deal. So that's the current side of it. What do I do about the voltage? Well. That's why I have the leads hooked up to my Fluke 87. Yeah, yeah. All right, Fluke 87. So, clamp the put the leads to the negative. This is our common point, and to that same lead that I'm clamping for the output. Click my DNA. Go to town. Now it's in it's in temperature mode right now, and that's a good that's a good thing to show you that it is a variable current in temperature mode. And uh, what you have to do is you have to go to uh, actually the easiest way to do this on the DNA forty. You don't have to change modes or anything. Uh, just change atomizers. Uh, put an atomizer on there. That's uh, and we. We may or may not talk. We may or may not have already talked about this, depending on what order I put these videos in. Um, you don't have to change the mode in the DNA forty. It'll pick up that this is not a temperature control, uh, and not a temperature build, and it'll just uh, go into regular watt mode. There you go, steady. And we have a voltage reading over here. It's a negative. That's the DNA way, DNA 40 way anyway. Okay, so you take those two values, you multiply them together, and bam, you have a power reading. And you do the same thing for the input. And you take the difference of those two as a percentage, and that's your efficiency. You do the same thing on the other one with the same atomizer, blah, blah, blah. You do it. I did it at different power levels. Um, and let's see. Let's see what we got. Like I said, they're close. So this is the one place where the, the SX was uh, noticeably better than the, than the DNA40, which, um, which I was, I was uh, somewhat surprised by. But uh, the SX uh, efficiency was from about 96.5% um, down to about 92%. Uh, Whereas the DNA40 was about 90.5% uh, down to about uh, 88%. And, um, and that's... Uh, it's not a huge, huge difference, and I know. Oh well. Oh, that's that's the difference of six or eight percent from from uh, the best of one to the worst of the other. Uh, but is it uh, is it a showstopper? No, 
no, by, by no means. And same thing with the uh, with the voltage voltage display um, accuracy, where the DNA forty is uh, is different by by a whole percent, which in voltage display accuracy is uh, significant, but it's not a uh, it's not a showstopper. So those two even out, and we still have uh, we still have a draw, I would say. Um, but that's ultimately for uh, for you to decide. So is it going to mean you get whole uh, hours more on your on your SX versus your DNA? Well, probably not, um, especially since you can run this thing at a higher power. Then you're going to be draining your batteries more quickly anyway. So you know, um, so take that for for what it is, and. Uh, And we'll uh, we'll go from there.